Hi everyone, welcome back to Bukio TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the bell notification on. So anytime we upload new video onto YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you. And one of the maxims of equity says, even what equity must come with clean hands. Equity is equity. Equity is the vigilant and not the indolent. So painful that I didn't go to school. But that I didn't go to school does not mean I shouldn't lead right. If you are too big to serve, you are too small to lead. I just told you, if you serve your conscience, you have sold the future of your children. And any member of Genesis that collects rice to vote will never get it right for the rest of his life. Louder, amen. Louder, amen. Louder, amen. Louder, amen. In spreading rumor, negative rumor. There are some people that we attack people's names, integrity, they are good names. Success is a perfume, failure is an odor. They know how to malign somebody's name to teach you against the person. But trust me, if you don't have a lion heart, you cannot take a lion shape. I tell you, don't sell your conscience. Don't sell your votes. Don't be used against your destiny. Okay. And I'm telling you, the light is on us. Nigeria will shine again. No, don't worry, don't worry. You may not like it. I said Nigeria will shine again. Nigeria will rise again. Giving is giving. You have to park it. That's why I'm telling you. Let me hold it. And I, as I was talking, want everybody to welcome with me. Yeah, you see, because of color, I'm not used to it. Unstoppable, dynamic, we need to be It's not about me. It's not about I. 
is about us. Watch this. That man that packed that money, another day God said I should give him 500,000. And I gave him again. And he has started his own business. I love my shepherd. <laughs> so come, come, come. So you will vote for anyone I ask you to vote for. Shake my vote for the man can vote for. After she parked, God said, give her 500,000. After the glory of God, I was able to do that back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. Flashing back to when I was a beggar. Flashing back to when I was nobody. Flashing back to when I came to the ministry and God said, go to the ministry, not to um, extort, not to play gimmicks, but go to the ministry to serve. Go to the ministry to lead. And that's why I believe so much in transparency. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa, my Africa. Nigeria, my Nigeria. Nigeria of brown warriors in ancestral savannas. Nigeria of whom I want to sing on the bank of Distance River. Nigeria is going to rise. Youth are we ready? Remember, I just told you. If you are reliable youth, they will not give you five thousand or five thousand dollars, and you think that that that's going to make you become anything in life. You will spend it, and you will have sold your destiny carelessly. Nobody can buy my conscience. Nobody can. I'm not doing anything to impress people. I'm only doing what God asked me to do as a leader, as a voice, and as a representative. And that is why. I want you to know with God all things are possible. Ladies and gentlemen, two days are important in your life. The day you came to the world and the day you realize what you're called for. You will remember for two things the problems you are able to create and the problems you are able to solve. And that's why I want productive and effective people around me. I'm ready to support whoever. Believe in justice. Whoever that is ready to transform this country. It doesn't matter how they are knocking you down. If God is God, you will bounce back. Welcome with me. I'm saying it for the first time in my life. But I've been following him. I don't criticize people. But I'm a prophet, and I won't say all of that. And I am meeting him for the first time, and many of us are seeing him for the first time. And I want to say thank you for believing in me as a shepherd. Thank you for believing in me that I'm not going to mislead you. Thank you for the celestial of this generation. Because it is not our church, it is our God. And whenever, whenever we are able to preach love, there will be progress. Listen to this.
I just said something. Any country that does not value youth is going nowhere. And I'm telling you the fact. Imagine it was so bad for me when I was coming up when I was a boy. When I was growing up, there was no money for my parents to send me to school. I didn't go to university. I didn't go to polytechnic. But today I've been able to see how many people God has just made for us. Imagine my age now. I want to write GC. Because there was no money for me to write there. I'm going to write and I want to go to Lasso to study law. It is not too late for me to go back to school. You don't have, you have no reason. Don't just don't stop putting your problems or stop blaming people. You have the right to bounce back. You have the right to discover yourself. You have the right to represent your generation very well. Don't be a disappointment to yourself. Don't even be a disappointment to your family. Don't be a disappointment to your generation. And don't be a disappointment to your God. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you, I'm a celestial church, preacher, prophet, that is always positive in the European community. I want to welcome to this building the great man with great mind. Small body with large mind. The man that has been able to understand the authenticity of the anthropomorphic appearance of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what anybody is saying about anybody. My conscience is mine. I'm not going to sell my conscience. How many of you don't want to sell your conscience? And you're going to join us in this rally of fighting for our future. Welcome with me. I'm on the lead show. Welcome, sir. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, please sit back and relax as we bring to you again the signature of our presidential candidate from the African Action Congress, AAC, in presence of our annual comrade, Omar Meli Shul. Omar Meli Shul started his journey of life as an ordinary young boy from a town in Esauru, Ondo State, and ended up becoming an extraordinary man. Omar Meli Shul is a Nigerian human rights activist, pro democracy campaigner, and founder of all my news agency, Sahara Reporters, and a presidential candidate for African Action Congress, AAC. She will rest on geography and regional planning at the University of Lagos from 1989 to 1995, with its academic program extended by two years after being expelled twice for political reasons and student activism. He was the president of the University of Lagos Student Union Government between 1992 and 1994, where he was deeply involved in anti politism and anti corruption advocacy. In 1989, he took part in student demonstrations protesting the condition of an international monetary fund, IMF law, of $120,000 million to be used for a Nigerian oil pipeline. Among the conditions of the IMF law were to reduce the number of universities in the country from 28 to 5. She already 5,100 students in protest against the Nigerian government in 1992. Omar Yeni Shogure was also involved in the demand for democratic government taking over military rule in June 12, 1993. This resulted in several arrests, detentions, and life-threatening treatments by government officials. To set his standard for himself in order for him to stand out, Shoure started Sahara reporters 
in a small room in Manhattan in the year 2006 to fight against corrupt and wrong government practices. Sahara Report is supported by grants donated by the Ford Foundation and Omedia Foundation. As part of its policy, the medium does not accept adverts and financial support from the Nigerian government. Genesis Global Family, both home and abroad, welcomes you to our next
and continue to do what he's doing. And it turns out that he's not just operating in Nigeria, he's operating all over the world. to become a 
country that every person can be proud of is about to happen. Let me make another revelation to you that what the Lord did not or hadn't told you today. When I was trying to reach him, I was told that there is a friend of mine who is in ABC, whose job is to make sure that this church is delivered to the ABC. And that I should forget it, I'm never going to get invited to his church. Because according to them, they have already bought this church. Wait. 
Our party is the African Action Congress. It was started five months ago. It's the fastest growing political party in Nigeria today because we have never participated in eating that forbidden bread. That is why people can believe in us. I will guarantee you that the future that you have all been looking for is around the corner. But it's up to you. We may decide to either spend 40 days in the wilderness for 40 years. If you miss it, the next 44 years will be like 40 will be the hardest in the life of Nigeria. Even your religion that you are practicing now may be very hard to practice. Just say you heard it from me first. Because on this podium today, I'm sharing with you a prophecy, even though I'm not a prophet. Greatness. Because the genie is out of the bottle. The bottle, the cup that they use in putting down Nigeria's glory has already been removed. And our country is about to experience its real glory. And you will say that there was a young man that came and said it. You know what is important about this? And I'll say that finally. Look at the age of Jesus Christ. He is Texas. Look at Martin Luther King, Texas, Malcolm X, Texas. These are the people who shape the life that we live today. We don't need a new seller again to run this country. They have tried even their best, and their best is not even good for their families. So it will not be good for Nigeria. I just want to thank you so much. Prophet uh, Oladele said that he's going to write jam, I mean Dubai, for the first time. And I've never made a contribution to any church before. I have never given anybody any money, but I'm going to pay for his wife. <laughs> <laughs>
and when you are able to understand the authenticity from the prophetic or in the prophetic, you will make the prophet from your prophet because your prophet has its own his own prospect. You have we need to come out of the land of slavery. I was preaching about it and I've been saying it way back. Not even not even now. Our church, the Ishevi branch, remember? When I called people, I said they gave you food. They gave you phones, they gave you rice, cup of rice, cup of garlic. And you collected it. But the same that we were able to share 1,000 bags of rice. And I'm not a politician. That is why the church money or our church tithe is not for me. Tithe does not belong to the pastor. Tithe belongs to the church. That is why we use it paying people in the church, elderly women, I mean mothers in the church, widows in the church. That is what church tithe is for. Is the chairman of the church here? Are you glad to it? Have I ever joined you in county church money before? No, no. I will never do that. When you get the tithe, use it to pay people that gets admission from our acquired department will pay. We send them to the university. By the time we invest in orders, we will enjoy the future. It is not about the university. It's about the understanding you have to confront your adversity that will make you a celebrity. Ignore every satanic calamity and you will be superly endorsed for spiritual establishment that will make you come out of mediocrity and become a celebrity. I say to you in the name of the Father of the Son and the Holy Ghost, all those who are going to vote perfectly are not going to vote their conscience or not going to sell their conscience. I was swearing. When I was swearing, I was, I was really, really mad when I was talking. And sometimes you need to be mad to be made. I took everything to change it. With all those that are giving Nigeria problems, we sleep and they will not wake no more. And I was honest, I said, I know they can't come out and risk me, it doesn't matter. But Martin Luther King, we can remember Martin Luther King for something. Martin Luther King Jr., we still remember Mandela for something. What will you remember for? If you don't know what to stand for, you fall for anything. Choose today who you're going to fall. Don't sell your future. God bless you. I say to all of you, thank you and thank you so much. And Nigeria will move forward. He said it, it's not about Christianity, it's not about Islam, it's not about anything, it's about purity of heart. Because the Bible says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So when we talk about purity, we're talking about purity of purpose, purity of intention, and purity of goals. I've not seen him before, I've not met him before, but you will know that he has got heart to serve. He was coming, he came down from his car. He came down from another one. He, 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 he came with Okan. He was on Okan when I was. Listen, listen to me. Separately, if I'm going out for crusade, and I'll get out of the car. Big Okan. Because I value people more than money. There is no place I have preached in this world. In America, in London, they're watching me. If they give me honorarium, I return it back. I am never collected. Why would I preach and you are paying me? What for? Are we playing gimmicks on people so that you collect the money and you give me my share? No. The future of my children, I don't want to trade in the future of my children. It doesn't matter, I'm not trying to say I'm the perfect one. There are a lot of perfect ones to come. But please, one of the maxims of equity says, even what equity, you must come to equity with clean hands. If your hands are clean, you will enjoy Nigeria. God bless you. God bless you.
Transparency be perfect. Watch what? Yes. Yes. Because if we are transitionally minded, you will know that you are called to serve. And if you are, if you cannot serve, you cannot lead. Right. So you be conscious of what you're going to gain. Like this year, some people blessed me with car, cars. I returned their cars. That was the time somebody gave me 10 acres of land around Lake. I told him he should come and take his land. Because God told me he wanted to use that land to the face of the Lord and I mean of God and he's been able to do some bad things and I told him I don't care about your acres of land go with your acres of land so if we have people like him and we support him and we encourage him I think I've even been telling people if you don't believe in people who have gotten the picture of the future in your in their hands the journey that's supposed to take you one day will take you 100 days Yeah, I'm getting lost. 